if you are looking for some support for current affairs if you are a fresher you are a working professional you are a repeater but you want some support for current affairs then i have a program for you um, i have given the uh, brochure and also the uh, announcement video link in the description you can watch if you are interested hello all welcome back to current affairs at series i'm guna madivanan from offices ias academy in today's video we are going to discuss about marine heat wave these are see here like like unlike the regular heat wave marine heat waves are not properly defined it is not properly defined different different sources are giving different different definitions okay so these are periods of extremely high temperatures in the ocean these are periods of extremely high temperature in the ocean so we will take the surface temperature we will take the surface temperature sea surface temperature we will take the sea surface temperature so how the heat waves are calculated as of now that i will tell you today is 11th of march today is 11th of march last year 2024 okay in 2023 in 2022 in 2021 like that like that i will go for 30 years on the same 11th of march on the same 11th of march same 11th of march the last 30 years what was the maximum average temperature what was the maximum average so today is 11th last 30 years on same date in last 30 years what is the maximum average temperature if it is 30 degrees celsius this is the maximum not usual maximum 30 degrees in that last 30 years now now today 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 there is today 11th march 2024 if today sea surface temperature has crossed 90% of this value 90% of 30 degrees is 27 degrees celsius if today's sea surface temperature is more than 27 assume today's sea surface temperature is 28 degrees celsius assume then we will immediately say then we will immediately say that today in this region in bay of bengal region we are having marine heat waves are you able to understand so what we are doing is if i want to know whether today bay of bengal is experiencing heat waves or not marine heat waves or not i will take the today's sea surface temperature it is 28 degrees celsius i have taken noted down i will compare it with the last 30 years average same date last 30 years maximum temperature i will find out the maximum is 30 degrees celsius now if today's temperature is 90% of this 30 degrees then we will say today we are experiencing heat wave today it is 28 degrees celsius 90% of 30 is 27 it has been crossed so we are saying that we are experiencing marine heat waves okay see indian meteorological department or the disaster management authority they have not defined they have not defined the definition i am taking it from the american sources how america is defining that is what i am explaining here even today why it was in news so the american uh, government agency national oceanic atmospheric administration agency this american agency american government agency they, they are saying that 40% of global oceans were already experiencing marine heat wave conditions and this is going to this is going to increase further because of the climate change that findings they were saying that's why it was in news now causes for the formations you should know climate change weak winds weak wind see you know wind wind will flow from high pressure region to low pressure region the wind will flow from high pressure to low pressure we all know basics when you will have I, i'm sorry i'm sorry I'm, yes yes so high pressure to low pressure now when you will have uh, high pressure low pressure variation when there is temperature variation when there is temperature variation when the temperature is high that region when temperature is high that region will have low pressure when the temperature is low that region will have high pressure so this high pressure low pressure difference is very important for the wind movement so when wind moves when wind moves what happens is let's say here we have sea when wind moves that wind will move the top surface of the water the top surface of the water will go down the bottom surface will come up 
because the wind will remove the sea surface water, the bottom will come up. So there will be mixing of water, the upper layer and the middle bottom layers of water gets mixed. That mixing will reduce the sea surface temperature. So for the, for the sea surface temperature to get reduced, the surface water and the next layer of water has to be mixed. For mixing, wind movement is very important. For wind movement, pressure difference is very important. When the climate is changing, when everywhere the temperature is high, when everywhere temperature is high, the wind movements will not be strong. When the wind movements are not strong, that can lead to that can lead to uh, marine heat waves. Ocean currents, these are basic geography questions, geography areas. Ocean currents, we all know. So this is earth, we have equator here. The ocean currents, from equator you will have temperature is very high. Temperature is very high, so here there is low pressure, here there is high pressure in the temperate region. The ocean currents, the water will move in this equator to north direction. Right? So now what happens is, now what happens? Here we have equator, we have warm currents. In equator, we will have warm, warm current. Warm currents, the warm currents will be, warm currents will be moving. In the temperate region, in the Europe region, Europe region, it will be very cold, it will be very cold. Since the hot waters in the form of ocean currents, when it is moving towards the Europe, that is why the Europe waters are not frozen. Right? The water, the hot water from the equator in the form of ocean currents, it moves towards the north. This warm water moves towards the north and it ensures that in the European region or beyond that, the waters are not frozen. Right? But now because of higher temperature, the equator alone is not warm. The equator alone is not warm. Everywhere we are seeing huge higher temperature, everywhere there is uh, increased temperature. So, so this is affecting the ocean currents movements as well, right? So this ocean currents, then air sea heat flux, air sea heat flux, that is when the air mass is, let's say this air mass, when this air mass is hot, when there is air mass is hot, then that will make the surface water also hot, that will make the surface water is hot. When the temperature is very high, the ocean currents also will become very, uh, I mean temperature will be very high. So the higher temperature will move to the European region that leads to marine heat waves. When hot air mass is high, that will make the surface water uh, hotter. Similarly, when the, when the low pressure, high pressure variation is affected, the wind movements will be affected. Because of that, again, marine heat waves happens. Right? Then we know about this El Nino, La Nino, that is again it deals with ocean currents. It is a basic geography, I cannot teach it here, it will take a lot of time. So you know El Nino and La Nina, both are opposites, both are opposites and both are dealing with uh, ocean currents. So what is the consequence? It can lead to loss of biodiversity, coral bleaching. Right. So, impact of marine waves can increase the incidence of tropical cyclones because the tropical cyclones, cyclone to be formed, you need at least 27 degrees Celsius of temperature. So, marine surface waters has more temperature that will lead to more frequent uh, cyclones, ecosystem will be affected, aquatic flora fauna will be dead. When the aquatic flora fauna is affected, livelihood economic losses will happen. Higher temperature will fuel the growth of alien species that is going to affect the biodiversity, coral bleaching, fish will be fishes, fish kills, seagrass destruction, loss of kelp forest. Kelp forest refers to that uh, uh, forest formed by algae in the bottom of the water. That will be affected. So, a lot of consequences because of marine heat waves. Mm -hmm.